Hey, greetings. Welcome. Chris here. Uh, it is April 18th, 2020. I've, uh, I've been in a shelter in place mode for, so I think about a month now. Um, you know, and I think I'm, I'm definitely ready to go back to work, but there is at least one creature on the planet that has absolutely loved a shelter in place way of life. And that is Maximus the Doxypoo. So, I can't uh, emphasize enough how great of a month he has had. So, when he's not sleeping in my bed at night, um, wherever he likes on a king size bed, he sleeps on the couch next to my workstation where I work daily and stares at me waiting for me to get up um, and do something. And so to, to break the monotony of my day, um, I do get out of the house once a day around lunchtime to walk around the neighborhood, and he loves that. He generally does not get uh, a 45 minute to hour long walk every day. He normally putters around the yard a little bit, does his business, sniffs a few things, and then comes right back in. So he's not spending a lot of time outside of his own choice, but when he, but we're on a walk, he seems to really love that. Also, I'm pretty sure his, his, uh, his diet has gotten a little bit better in insofar as the uh, volume of goodies and treats that he's able to get because there's people at home regularly uh, paying him attention. Whereas normally I take him to work and he, he sleeps in the passenger seat of my car, which he loves just fine, but uh, he only gets fed a couple times a day. So uh, with that, I wanted to, yeah, highlight a couple of a couple of really bright spots in the universe uh, specifically related to Maximus the Doxypoo and how while many of us are uh, struggling to adapt and, and unfortunately many people are suffering uh, at least one little critter is having what, what might be say might be called the time of his life so let's take a look This isn't going to be very good video quality. <laughs> so after cooking our Easter turkey, uh, this is the carcass after we boiled it down to make a broth for soup. And this is what I was able to pull off the carcass afterwards. And you know who's going to get it. All right, so here we have a taste test. A taste test challenge for Maximus. We have his normal kibble, which I don't know that he's eaten. Eh, he might have eaten it a couple times this week. Or the parts off the turkey carcass that we picked specially for him. So, let's see what the little man's choice is. All right, little man. Come and get your food. Come on. Oh, I think it's obvious what he prefers. Definitely a fan of the turkey. Yeah, no, not interested in the kibble. It's also worth noting that I usually cook his turkey for about 10 seconds in the microwave. He seems to really like that. And there you have it. We have a winner. And he's still not interested in the kibble. All right. Okay, so while I was looking at the film, Maximus eating the turkey, somehow his kibble disappeared as well. Maximus. Maximus. Was that you? Did you eat your kibble? Oh, I think he might have. I think we might have found the guilty party. Yep, this proves he's a glutton. He likes his kibble and he likes the turkey. 
So despite all the inconveniences, the struggling, the suffering, um, you know, take some comfort and joy in knowing that there is one critter on the planet that is loving how the state of the world is right now, yeah. right? And that is Maximus the Doxy Poo. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe. Uh, take care, as always, and uh, we'll see you next time.